It wasn't when the cops were called the first time, but the second time. <laughs> and when they were called the second time, I also now all of a sudden had a flat tire, which was kind of sus. So after that happened, I decided to sell the van and this, yeah, that's, that's what we're going to talk about today. So for context, my name is Alexandria. I used to live in vehicles full time. For the past two or so years, I've moved into an apartment just to see what my life would look like if I did that. I saw <laughs> what that was like, and now I'm in the process of moving back into a vehicle. So why am I doing that after having lived in an apartment? Basically, just as an individual, I don't have the luxury of maintaining like a stationary lifestyle and a more mobile lifestyle at the same time for me it kind of comes down to like I just have to choose so I personally don't think that I like one better than the other I think they have pros and cons time and place kind of thing so for right now like the near future I just kind of see myself being more mobile which is why I'm getting back into a vehicle and eventually I'll probably get into something more stationary as well. Now let's just go ahead and jump into the timeline. So the last that you were updated, the van was having mechanical issues that had gone through a bunch of different mechanics and couldn't really figure out what was wrong. Simultaneously, I had decided to move back into a vehicle knowing full well that like, it might not be the van, I might have to get a different car, but still going forward with that process and moving all of the things out of the apartment. So yeah, finished that whole thing. And then I was set to go out of town for like three to four weeks and without the van. So in that time frame, I was like, okay, where can I park the van where it's allowed to be there and it can be there for that long. So I knew somebody that was like, yeah, you can park at my house. Okay, cool. So emphasis on the fact that it was allowed to be there because it was at someone's house. However, I go out of town, park my van there, all that stuff. And then I get a phone call. And this phone call is to inform me that the neighbors have called the cops on my van. Okay, that was frustrating, but as I said in the beginning, it's kind of like, uh, okay, like it is an old big white van, you know, I don't know. And it's like new on your street, but like, okay. I just kind of like shrug it off and I'm just like, okay, it's whatever, you know, it happens from time to time. At least like I wasn't in it and it wasn't kind of like one of those instances, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool, it's fine. So I go about living my life and I get another phone call <laughs> and then this time this phone call is to let me know that the van as I said at the beginning the cops were called on the van again now I don't know while it was still parked in the same place now I don't know if it was the same people that called the cops on it again because it hadn't moved or if it was different people I don't know but it was just like this location was clearly not panning out like people were sketched out for whatever reason and also as previously mentioned, the now the van had a flat tire, which like backtrack two weeks ago when the first phone call happened, um, the van didn't have a flat tire then. So like, why does it have one now? You know, I don't know. Maybe it was just time. Like the tires were pretty, you know, at the end of their life. However, like I said, just a little sus. Okay, cue the rant <laughs> portion of this video because this was like the straw that broke the camel's back. And not only this isolated incident, it was like a combination of, I've had the van for give or take like seven years or so. And like what, <laughs> for example, there was another time where I used to park to go see, visit a friend, like consistently, not like, I don't know, too much, but I would go and I'd park on their street. And there was this guy who would come out of his house, like put his hands on his hips, like every time I parked there in the middle of the day too, it wasn't like anything sketchy. And he would like watch to like make sure I like didn't park anywhere near his house. And it's like, bro, like I wasn't gonna park near your house anyways. Like you literally see where I park every single time. It's the same spot every single time. You see me get out of the car. Like you see where I go, like, I don't know. Anyway, it's just like aggro, like, okay, whatever. And so it's an accumulation of just like, seven or so years of like little things like that where i just felt like okay again this is why this is a rant is because like there's no right or wrong it's not black and white like this isn't i'm literally just just saying what i want to say and then that's it like i don't know because i guess you could like play what ifs and all that stuff like all day long sure but i'm gonna just say that like in most of the instances, like the one I just described to you, not, well, the guy with his hands on his hips or the one with the cops being called and like the tire now being flat or whatever, it's like, would that have happened if this van was a nice new Sprinter van with like all the bells and whistles and stuff? Like maybe, maybe not, right? but I tend to lean on the side of probably not. Like it probably wouldn't have happened. Like people would look at that van and be like, 
oh my god that's so cool that's so nice let me go over there and see what whose is it what do they have it for what do they plan to use it for like can i see inside you know this is so cool but then you look at someone like bertha just because she's old and like whatever you know then like oh so sketch must get her out of here she can't even be anywhere near my property and that's like oh my gosh like you know and and that's what i'm saying it's like i'm not faulting the person who called the cops i'm not faulting the guy who didn't want me parking near his house i'm just saying that being on the receiving end of the stigma of an old big y van like sucks that's it and so like very early on in my own like van life life <laughs> my van life journey especially with like social media and all of that i basically had to like in my brain go like there are two different kinds of van life and like I don't actually think there are just two I think it's more of like a spectrum thing like there's a lot of nuance to everything but for the sake of this conversation let's just there's two kinds of van life so there's like the bougier van life where you maybe have a house or an apartment and then you also have a van or you just have a newer van or a van that was like 300 200k I don't know like I don't know much about that life because I don't live that life and then there's another kind of van life where like for example me I live I moved into a vehicle the first time like originally just so that like I would have a fail safe ish way to provide a roof over my head to see if I could save money and maybe pay off my debt faster like my my van just this van because I've lived in other vehicles but just this van alone has saved me from being out of a home a solid two times 2.5 <laughs> but it it i will i could elaborate but it doesn't really matter so but you see what i'm saying well, yeah, man. Congratulations. That's amazing. Well, yeah. and like that's not to say that one is better than the other like i don't think people should pay more attention to one than the other or vice versa it's just i'm saying all that to say that you can't compare the two at least i don't think so because it's it's you it's an injustice okay because they are two very different things and just me personally like i really had to drill that into my brain because i would be like seeing one version of van life and then getting asked questions as if i'm supposed to live up to like this expectation this idea this visual when i'm living van life closer to over here like i cannot count the amount of times that people have been like why is your van not built out or like why is it not finished when is it going to get finished and to me it's like honestly i just like never answer that question because i just i hear that question and i'm like what like what are you even asking me you know i don't know because from my perspective it's just kind of like i don't know if i were outside looking in yes contextually of course there's nuance there given the individual and what they're like specifically working through and with but overall like it's it's probably money no and since i'm personally coming from the experience and perspective of using the van as a way to make sure i like have a roof over my head and then especially too like coming from smaller vehicles like a jeep liberty honda civic mitsubishi lancer that sort of thing the empty shell of a van is already like doing the job that it's supposed to do of like being the, the home and anything on top of that like the van felt like a mansion coming from those small vehicles and any sort of like the built out shelves the fridge that i have in here like the power system all that stuff that to me is like luxury is it nice yeah of course do i want to live without it no not necessarily but could i yeah totally and would the van still function as a roof over my head in case like of a worst case scenario yes so it's kind of like that just like with cabinets and stuff do i want that one day do i want to insulate the ceiling yeah of course it'd be awesome but at the same time it's just kind of like I don't know the funds haven't gotten divvied out to that part of the priority list did you know it's okay to have food in your kitchen like that did you know that's okay and it don't have to be pretty and it don't have to be done by a contractor or a home decorator it's okay and i it's hard because i don't like to get into this area of conversation because like me again as just an individual i'm not trying to paint this picture of like oh my van's not built out because i'm poor and i just don't have any money but I'm also not trying to like lead with this image of like, oh, like, yeah, I totally have money to build out my van and I just like don't want to, you know, because for me, the reality of it is that it's somewhere in there along that line. And I think for a lot of people, it is as well. Um, it's just somehow we kind of we it's like van life got stuck in this like dichotomy of like extremism which a lot of things do however then it's like the balance of what we see just is most of this even though this still exists and it's interesting to say the least i feel like there's a there's a lot of conversation that could be had within all of that um i'm not trying to open that can of worms specifically at least in this video but 
that's where the rant took me so basically after that happened the cops called the flat tire me just being like ah, i'm so done with this the result of that was like i'm just so done with like the mechanical problems that it's been having for about a year now and it, like i said it went through like eight mechanics and nobody had a, a concrete answer and then the stigmatization that just like randomly will pop up so just yeah between that stuff i was just like i'm done i'm gonna sell it so and i'm gonna get something else to live in as far as a vehicle goes i don't know what but that's the plan so i posted the van for sale decided to temporarily test an suv so i ended up in a jeep grand cherokee which you'll see some videos of that shortly and then i also took a trip in a toyota corolla slash tent so i didn't stay in the corolla just kind of used it to stuff all of the belongings and things and organize that see how that would function and slept in a tent so i have some new perspectives to ponder i've decided i i'm in limbo with the van essentially i just think that for right now the, the very short term future at the very least utilizing the van is what's going to be in my best interest so i did get a new tire and replace the one that was flat i re-replaced well i didn't do it but a new fuel pump was put on other than the other new one a new new one and now i have one more tire that is pretty much on its way out so i need to replace that and then once i do that i will be able to take it on a test drive for a longer amount of time and drive it twice in one day because that's kind of how it was having issues the first time if you know you know otherwise whatever it doesn't really matter i just gotta test drive the van and yeah that is where we're at so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you have a good day and i'll see you in the next one